Hi guys. Hopefully you can hear me. Um down in office and uh, got some old peas to pod. Um next year it saves. Um uh, going to get on and do that. So here we go. I have a box with a few seeds in already. And uh, let's try and get another job done on the pot then. Very simple, let these dry out some time actually, these particular ones. They weren't, uh, they weren't here. Um, very simple, stack them out and get the seed heads out. Say seed heads, seeds. Okay. peas. And, uh, and that's it really. So this is the job of the day. Uh, the bolotti beans, we said before. Um, here we go. They haven't dried out yet. You can pod them out, but I was going to let them dry out a bit more. Uh, it makes it easy to prepare dry ice, but I'll see how I get on. Um, if I just show you bolotti beans, these uh, dwarf bolotti beans. Can see. I can eat. I could eat those now, uh, but you tend to dry them out and then use them in casseroles. You can use them like that. Like all the potties, use them in casseroles straight away. But uh, I found drying them out much better, and then just put them in uh, boiling water and uh, use them that way in casseroles, etc. So anyway, let's get on with this really exciting job. I'll come back to you. I'll speed this up so you don't have to sit here for seven hours watching me do this. Um, but I have. This job needs to be done. Uh, it does save you money in the long run. Uh, um, I mean, pea seeds, you know, they're not the cheapest actually, I've got to admit. Um, and especially when you plant them, you put them in the soil and put them in the to, to, to plant out later on. And the bloody mice come and eat them all, the rats. Before they're even germinated. But when they're germinated, they still come, they completely obliterate them. Uh, I'm sure you've seen some of my previous uh, uploads in March, April time, May. They're doing honky dory, and I think it's May when they saw me. I don't know if it's got bloody bit in the next, God knows what, but they have. Um, so yeah, so I'll get on with this and I will see you at the end of it. And then we'll go to some Jeez. Got some peas for next year. Right, so that's probably know, a couple of packets worth. So hopefully those will germinate and grow. So that, you know, I haven't lost anything. Um, right, I've got some more 
going, mate. Um, yeah, which I'm again leaving that to dry to get the seeds, uh, the um, seeds out of. Um, and I've got some more lettuce to, to start off. I've got this double pack of little gems. Uh, I know it's a bit late. Um, in fact, very late. But I'm just going to get a few, if I could just get a few seedlings to grow in here. Um, over winter in the polytunnel. Um, or just get them to grow the nail mint. Uh, you can get them from a certain size outside the cooler temperatures and actually grow mature. Okay. The main thing is, it's not going to get cold, 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 but um, it's daylight that's the problem, really. I've got some mustard as well. Again, it's end of August. I'm mean, in the start of September, so I'm going to go and get some of that out. A lot of rosses. Um, again, more like this. I'm going to go in my jaws. I'm going to do um, that in uh, type of thing. And just see if I can get some growing inside the polytunnel and then the plug plants and get them outside. I've got fleece now um, for outside as well, so I can always cover them up for the really harsh winters. But lettuce doesn't like heat. I'm so chuffed with what I've grown anyway. I've had lettuce for the last 28 weeks um, to lockdown, and uh, I've been feeding a few people with lettuce, leaves, uh, various salad -y kind of crops. Radish and all rest of it anyway, so I'm quite pleased with that this year. Um, so we'll take it from there, we'll have a go at it anyway. Um, I've got some more trying to do in the polytunnel. Uh, I'm sure you can see from the previous video uh, of my area, this is where the camera's sat now. Um, it's still a bit of a mess, and where I saw the seeds. So I'm going to try and get that sorted today if I can. Um, and then we can take it from there, as they say. I do hope you can hear this, because I know it sounds a bit poor, but I can't afford the microphone to fit the wireless microphone. I've got loads of microphones. I've got 22 microphones at home, but they're all uh, for my big band gigs, so they're proper big microphones, the sure microphones, and uh, wired, wireless, not wireless. So I just need to get a little wireless clip-on microphone for this. Um, I have noticed it's been going out, in and out, shake it all about. Um, and just to let guys know, music wise, um, my two of the bands that I play in, um, we're going to be recommencing rehearsals uh, 23rd of September in October. Thank the Lord, because it's been near my head. In. Um, this is the only place to keep me sane. Um, obviously losing my father during this period, looking after my mother, whose health isn't the world's greatest anyway, at the best of times, and I can see her missing me dad, which is understandable. And uh, her health, uh, I think, was starting to deteriorate, um, but I'm, I'm positive, I'm going to stay positive for her. George has gone back to university today. We packed her mum's car up and her mum uh, took her down today. She's coming back on the 13th of September because my birthday it is Battle of Britain Day, which is the 15th of September. And she wants to come back and uh, celebrate my birthday. So I don't, I don't celebrate birthdays. Uh, I'm only 21 again. Yeah, I have another few years on top of that. But I'm still, I think, a handsome young chap, don't you? Okay, I'm not. All right. We'll put that one to one side. We'll park that as well. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, and um, I'll do some more little clips. I'm going to try to do some more little clips like this, uh, a bit more now. Uh, instead of just wandering around the uh, plot. But I think there's uh, quite a few uh, other YouTubers out there. Um, Find it difficult to do all the videoing when they've got to do weeding and, and, and uh, cropping events, etc. I'm uh, standing with people um, uh, that are out there, Terry King and all the rest of them, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll hat off to them because they produce some really good footage and some great videos, um, some great tips. Um, I said on the previous one about the canning 
experience on journey on going through the moment. And that's only because uh, I've been part of the Shed Wars, a bit of fun type of thing. And I've been alerted to all these other different channels. Um, and it's really, you know, really interesting. And so I'm learning, uh, making mistakes as human beings always do. And that's what makes a human life so wonderful. But also sometimes a pain in the arse, as we all know. Um, but we learn by our mistakes and we try and better ourselves. Um, hope you've enjoyed this. Please hit the subscribe button if you aren't already a subscriber. Um, I'm up to 411 subscribers, which is very funny. I just want to start with this. I, I just give it as a diary for me. But um, to get a few more would be most. I'd be pretty chuffed. Um, so if you've got any people out there that have children for me or whatever, please give them a look and ask them if they would like to be a subscriber and watch my videos. Um, so hopefully, um, although this is 19 minutes, 20 minutes long, uh, hopefully in speeding up of the earlier bit will have worked again. I'm not too sure yet, but obviously if you're watching this to this end, you will have already heard what music I chose. So um, we'll go with that. Take care. Um, look after your loved ones. Uh, keep safe. And uh, see you in the all of this. And that's uh, all I've got to say. Cheers, guys. Bye bye. Hello, guys, again. I'm back again. Just been out. I did say that a while back, well, I said a while back, a few, a few days back, that I needed to um, do a bit of a pruning on the old sage tree bush. Uh, two reasons. It was too big and it was, it was in a wall way. So, I know you shouldn't put it back into dead wood and all that stuff, but I don't want it in the walkway. So, what I've done. So I've gone and I've basically chopped a load of it off with a pair of tractors. Uh, what I will now do is I can find the scissors. Just one second, guys. Find the scissors because I've been using everything. That's all. They are born, mate. It's me being brain dead. I'm getting confused because I'm so organised today. I'm more organised than I am. So, so basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try. I'm just going to snip some leaves off. So, here you go. So, I'm going to snip some leaves off, put them in the tray, take them out, wash them, and then I'll use some. Uh, just dry it. I don't know if I'm going to dry them all as whole leaves or just, um, and then chop them up or chop them first and then dry it. I don't know yet. But it's a, it's a shame to waste it. Uh, it's fresh up and it's huge. The plants, if you follow my previous videos, like, we'll see how big it is. Uh, it's a good, it's a good thing to chop it back sometimes. But as I said, most of it's been chopped back on the walkway. I'll show you that. Um, possibly I'll have a little walk around later. And uh, show you that I'm just more conscious of the length of this video is going to be. So, um, I'm going to be here all day. But this is sage. Sage and onion. Sage and onion stuffing. Uh, sage is lovely if you make sausage rolls. Sage and onion in a sausage, in a sausage meat, and all that sort of thing. Sage you can use loads. It's, it's a great, great um, herb, if you want to call it a herb. Um, I think it's a herb, but it's just it's just a beautiful smell of beef and if you just rub it you can get the smell is just unbelievable. And I'm really chuffed with it because it always looks really bad at the start of the year. And it's just brown, it, 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 it's just dead. It just looks it's no can else chance it's gonna live. And then as the warmer period comes along, uh, we get the rains. I never water it really. But then when we get the rain, uh, and it gets a bit warmer, it suddenly just, and you do a bit of pruning, 
Um, it just suddenly just poof, bang gone. And it's done really well this year. Uh, I haven't really used a lot of it uh, since I actually put it in um, because of various reasons. I've just haven't had time to prepare for it this year. This year I've made time. I've had time. I've had time on my hands because of COVID nineteen, which I normally wouldn't have. And instead of lollowing around and just you know, what's sort of lollowing? What's lollowing? Wallowing around, should I say? And feeling sorry for myself. I feel that get down here a lot of Mark. Come on, you're allowed to go down there. You can do some work down there. And get it all up and running. I'm squinting now because the sun's on. Nice. Um. So that's what I've done. And uh, I'm really chuffed. Well, I'm pleased with myself that I've done that. And in things like this, I'll have loads to uh, put in jars, drive, and all the rest of it. So, um, one side can have a go, Miles. You have got to prove them back. Um, they do go mental. A bit like lavender. Lavender can go absolutely ballistic. I've got a house, well, I've got a garden full, two, two plants on the roof from cuttings. And they've got absolutely ballistic. We've got four having the plants as well, round this size plant. They've got stupendous. My mum uh, had a plant from the same place that I had those four plants on, and it seems to have died in the garden. Now, whether that's a silk content or whatever, I don't know yet. But she wants some cuttings, so maybe do some cuttings of lavender. So, anyway, less rambling, more doing. So, I'm going to be chopping the old leaves off here. Very simply. There you go. I don't know where it's gone, but it's all in the pot. Um, and that's it then. Um, so anything like this, just do that. Uh, and it'll still carry on growing. So you can always come down. I can always come down and cut a few off and use it um, fresh. But uh, a lot of this will be dry. Um, then it's going to you know, back and ruin. You can see what happens. It, it, it dies off. So all these top bits I'll cut off now. And then I'll, I'll take all the leaves off. So it's better like that. Um, so I've got quite a bit to do here, guys. Um, so I better start and crack on, as I would say. Sit in. Who silly idea was it to do this? I only 652 more pounds to the. Um, Please to do. Ta da! One down, as I said. A fair few more to go. I'll see you at the end, guys! Now, um, of sage date, but here's some plastic bags to put these and take them home, and then we'll sort out the growing process. Uh, so yeah, so basically, what you've seen today is seeds, sage, and uh, I'll do a little, come on, do a little walk to the sage plants in a minute, uh, to take them up to the back of this so you can see where I'm in. That the walkway is why I've cut it back. Uh, yeah, so I've got plenty of 
uh, fresh save. Um, it's all dry, and then uh, if I need any fresh fresh, I can always come down uh, when I do the electric so. But uh, yeah, that's uh, a good job done so far. It's half of it done, I think. Um, it's, that's what it is. Um, yeah, um, so I'm going to t- carry on now and just try and sort some of this rubbish out here behind the camera um, down here. And get all that done. Then I can start sowing some more seeds for the winter. Uh, and I need to put on some of the stuff that I've already sown. Um, turn it into that kind of stuff, um, which is quite large now. I need to really go out um, in late in the season. But uh, yeah, it's all it's all coming to, it's coming together. Um, but yeah, um, I'll do some like I said in the last last video. I'll do some more links to some of the uh, YouTube channels that I follow. Um, you can get those on my playlist. I'm sure that's the way it works. All channels, I think, is on the top. You can follow. You can see what channels I follow. Um, there's, a, there's a great one uh, from New Zealand, and I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Uh, lovely uh, lady. It's because uh, obviously their time zones are obviously completely different to as over here in the UK and um, some other parts of America, etc. So they just go into spring. So it's quite novel because um, it's, it's our season is ending, or coming towards the end, as in the winter months coming up. Um, and it doesn't all wait, it doesn't compare the end, but the majority of it uh, sort of comes to an end. And it's basically more the rebuilding of structures and tying up sheds and tying up polytunnels and that kind of stuff. But it's nice to uh, go and see another channel where it's the other side of the world and uh, the spring is just starting and uh, we can watch that and see how they get on growing the veg during their spring and summer, etc. And then when they sort of come towards their end, we take the back on so I suppose, in a way. Uh, and then we can obviously still get ideas for the forthcoming year for ourselves or for the forthcoming season for ourselves uh, and vice versa. So um, it's really good. I will put the link on the blog. I'm sure it's coming like Are You Bro or, 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 or something like that, but don't take my word for it. It'll be in the descriptions or the comments below. So um, hopefully uh, you'll put that up. And, uh, I'll do a little quick walk around and then I'll uh, say ta la. And uh, hopefully, well, I will speak to you again. Uh, and hopefully, if uh, you want to come back, whatever's not. Entirely up to you. Um, but I do actually think I've done a really hard day's work today. Um, I've done all of this and I've done some more work outside, which I'm not going to uh, spoil that for you. So uh, I think I've earned a succumbent with the one side. I have earned the obligatory beer. It's Strongbow time. Cheers, guys. All the best. Take care.